As someone who enjoys pro wrestling more so as a kid, and anymore if I watch wrestling, it's WWE pay-per-views, I did go to one WWE event, and I actually found some notes from this show that I had. This was November 23rd of 2003. It was in the Tacoma Dome in Tacoma, Washington. It was a Raw brand house show, and at the time, I really didn't know what a house show was. I figured it would have been like TV, pyro, and all that cool shit. I was 15 years old at the time, so me, my parents, and my younger brother went to this event. It was part of the WWE Unleashed event, which I think was a tour across the United States. Jonathan Coachman, also known as Coach, was ring announcer, and then Eric Bischoff walked out, talked shit to the crowd, and this is when the Hurricane and Rosie came out, started shit with Bischoff. Of course, this got right into the first match, which was Hurricane and Rosie against La Resistance, and that was Sylvan Grenier and Rob Conway. Hurricane and Rosie defeated La Resistance. Now, I remember the whole crowd chanting, USA, USA, USA. It was pretty damn funny. After that, it was Mark Henry with Teddy Long against Tom. Tommy Dreamer. Mark Henry picked up the win. It was kind of cool to see Tommy Dreamer as, you know, he was known for ECW fame. Although, if I remember right, it wasn't a really long match. Then it was Lance Storm and Val Venus against Mark Jindrak and Garrison Cade. Storm and Venus picked up the win. I remember that match being pretty good considering these were kind of mid-card type matches, but of course it was starting the show. Steven Richards with Victoria was against Rico, who had Miss Jackie in his corner. One thing I remember about this match, and it was actually a pretty good one, was the Tacoma Dome went fucking crazy when Steven Richards did the Stevie kick. Steven Richards ended up winning the match, which was pretty cool. The next match was Maven versus Test, who had Stacey Keebler as manager. Manager. This was around the time when Stacy refused to help Test. Maven got the win, and I remember Stacy congratulating him, and she said she was going to shake her ass, but Test pulled her out of the ring. Then there was a handful of championship matches. The WWE Women's Championship match was next. It was Molly Holly versus Lita. This match I remember being a bit chaotic. Matt Hardy came to ringside at one point to distract Lita. Jazz did a run-in, attacked Lita. Basically, she was getting fucked up by others. Although Ivory ended up showing up to get Jazz away from the match, Molly Holly ended up winning the the match, retaining the women's championship, and if I recall, Victoria did a run in to save Lita, but then clotheslined her. And I remember the whole Tacoma Dome just going, "Boo! Get out of there! Boo!" <laughs> it was pretty funny. Ivory came back in for the save, and I remember the match being pretty entertaining, even though it was kind of chaotic. The World Tag Team titles were on the line as the Dudleys were up against Chris Jericho and Christian. Now this was probably one of the most entertaining matches of the night. Both put on a hell of a match. The Dudleys retained the title, and I remember the crowd chanting ECW. At some points. Not only that, if I recall, Christian got put through a table, which was fucking awesome. The WWE Intercontinental Championship was on the line as Rob Van Dam went up against Kane. This was after the whole Kane unmask incident that happened on Raw. Remember, Rob Van Dam and Kane were a tag team. Now, this match went by quick. Kane was disqualified for hitting RVD with a chair and then a choke slam. Charles Robinson, who was referee, ended up getting choke slammed, and that was funny as hell. I remember the crowd going crazy over that. The final match of the evening was Booker T and Goldberg, or I call him Shitberg, against Evolution, which consisted of Triple H, Randy Orton, and Batista. Booker T and Goldberg won the match. I remember it being somewhat entertaining. After the match was done, I remember Booker T invited Coach into the ring to celebrate. Booker T asked the crowd if they wanted to see Coach do a spin rooney and he did a fucking horrible spin rooney and then Goldberg speared him. Overall, it was a pretty fun event. It's one that I always remember, even though it was the only one I ever went to. And what was crazy, compared to seeing it on TV, was how small the ring was. See, the Tacoma Dome is only two levels. There's an upper level, and then a mid-level, and then a floor level. So technically three. And I wasn't on floor level, but I was on the first actual level. And the ring still looks small as shit. From what I remember, the crowd was really into it, and it's a damn shame that I didn't go to any more events after this. And looking back at the roster and these matches, I got to see a pretty damn good event. Especially the Dudley Boys, Chris Jericho, Christian, Randy Orton, Lita, Molly Holly, Stacey Keebler, Kane, RVD, Triple H... Booker T, and so on. Anyways, I figured I would share that story on the only WWE event I ever went to. I did go to a local show that was actually at my high school. Around the same year, it was an event done as a benefit for one of the teachers who had cancer at the time, and unfortunately, a handful of years later passed away, but it was more so Pacific Northwest wrestlers. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this pro wrestling talk video. Thank you for watching. You motherfuckers kick ass. Fast, guys. Now trampling the opposition. Looks like Kane is starting.